we currently have 15 photos within this catalog. Now, as you can see, they all start with underscore DSC followed by some sort of number. And the number is completely random as we go through and look at our images. Now, what I want to do is I want to add more consistency to the naming convention of these photographs. And I'm going to do that by selecting this first image. And I can see here it has Lucy and also Catherine. I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to choose rename. I'll get a little rename dialog that appears and ask me what the new name should be. I'm going to type in Lucy and also Catherine. And now I'm going to press OK. As you can see, the image has now been renamed Lucy and Catherine. If I use the slider up the top here to make this image a little bit larger, you can see there's now no actual number after that file name. It still says .jpg and nothing has changed there. Now I'm going to select this image here and I'm going to hold down Shift and I'm going to scroll down to the very last image and all these photographs actually have Lucy in them. So what I'm going to do is rename all these images at the one time. Before I do that, I'll scroll back up so we can see the first image. Now I'm going to go to the file menu. I'm going to choose rename. And now from the rename dialog, it says common base name. So this is the common base name for these photographs in general. And all I'm going to type in here is Lucy. I'm going to press OK. And now you can see they've all changed to Lucy. But the first image here actually has 01, followed by 02, 03, and all the way down to the very last image, which is dash 14. So it's a very smart way to rename our photographs. The advantage of this also is that we can go to this search field up here and now we can search for these images under the name Lucy or Lucy and Catherine, which makes everything a whole lot easier.